Lau Andrea Salome was one of the best called cockpit in history in famously for breaking the great Friedrich Nietzsche's heart our intellect and ability to decode men's weaknesses was beyond measure she could meet a man in a minute and have him fallen in love with her Salome was highly fascinated by the sermons of the Dutch pastor Hendrik Gillet Pastor Gillet became so infatuated with Salome that he wanted to divorce his lovely wife and marry the young Salome. Unfortunately, Salome turned him down. She was not interested in marriage. Paul Ludwig Re, a German author, proposed to Salome, and she bluntly turned him down as well. One afternoon, the great Friedrich Nietzsche also met her. and had fallen in love at first sight immediately nietzsche proposed marry to salome sadly enough she also rejected the beloved philosopher who was the session woman that so ardently captured everyone's heart what was her secret people started to wonder a few years later Lau and her Salome eventually agreed to a calibrate marriage with linguistic scholars Frederick Call Andreas. However, throughout her marital life, Salome engaged in affairs with the German journalist and politician George Ledbetter, the German poet Rainer Maria Rilke, and Victor Tosk, etc. Rumored also had it that Salome later had a romantic relationship with the Austrian neurologist Sigmund Freud. Ironically, while everyone who proposes marriage to Salome has moved on, the German philosophy finds it difficult to get over the heartbreak. Nietzsche's sister Elizabeth hated Salome for breaking his brother's heart and calling her a witch. Was she truly to be blamed? Perhaps. Lau Andrea Salome understands what makes men tick. She could get under men's skin and trigger their libido. In one letter, Sigmund Freud comments Salome's profound understanding of human psychology, so that he believed she understood men more clearly than they understood themselves. Was she born that way? Sigmund Freud wonders. Lau Andrea Salome was a Russian psychoanalyst. She maintained her valor until her death in 1937. In her last hours, as if talking to herself, she is reported to have said, "If I let my thoughts roam, I find no one. The best, after all, is death."